I love this pan. Cooking eggs in this pan is easy. I've been cooking eggs in this pan for years. Selling Teflon is easy, but we've realized the negative effects of cooking with Teflon coated cooking surfaces. And the reality is, is we can get the same results, if not better, with traditionally seasoned cooking surfaces, but we gotta start by getting rid of these pans. All these old Teflon pans gotta get recycled. I'm getting rid of mine, let's see if you can do the same. Three years ago here at Cook Culture, we took a pledge to no longer sell any Teflon style coated nonstick cooking surfaces. Now obviously we took a big hit in sales for that, but we believe we have a responsibility as a retailer and myself as an educator to help people transition out of disposable Teflon style cookware like waffle irons, bakeware, fry pans, all of this sort of stuff. And back to traditional carbon steel, cast iron and stainless steel really good quality lifelong cooking tools. So let's show you how to transition away from Teflon style cooking surfaces. So we've got our carbon steel, we've got our beautiful cast iron, and of course classic stainless steel. We've got knowledgeable staff, we have the right tools, keep an eye out online for our different instructional videos on how to get the results that you want from these tools. Let's try one right now. The most difficult thing, frying an egg in a seasoned carbon steel pan. Okay, with a carbon steel pan, we can't expect right at the gate that it's gonna come seasoned. We have to put a little bit of work into it, and then once we get it seasoned after a few uses, a number of times working with it, and we can get that smooth movement that we would normally expect from a Teflon pan. So we've got a pat of butter in there. Remove that butter around so the egg doesn't adhere anywhere. And we're gonna crack our egg in. Got a little bit of salt. Sometimes if you crack the egg in and the pan is too hot, it will stick a little bit. So you wanna bring it up to temperature and then let it set before you start the movement. All right, you can see, okay, we get this moving around. Okay, now it's loose. Okay, and once it's loose, then we're golden. Okay, and then we're gonna go for our first flip. Now you may not be flipping, you might use a spatula for this, but you can also just flip it by hand like that. And then you get this beautiful, there's no brown. If you get a little crispy, that's delicious too, but you can get the same results with this type of pan that you would with a non-stick cooking surface. That's what I'm talking about.